Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Emil Vihandre and welcome to Physical Science. Our topic for today is Atomic Bonding. Atomic bonds is an electrical attraction between the nuclei and the valence electron of an atom in which binds atoms together. In other words, we form bonds through valence electrons. And for today, we're going to focus on two types of bonding, the covalent and ionic bonds. Covalent bonds occur when sharing of an electron pair between atoms exists. As you see in the pic, they bond together sharing the electrons. This type of bonding occurs between non-metals. Now, what are non-metals? Looking at this periodic table gives you an idea which is which. This is what covalent bonding looks like. To perform covalent bonding, first, we draw the valence electrons of our atom. So chlorine has 7 valence electrons. Next, we connect the single electron found in each atom by drawing a line. By doing so, shares their electrons. Now, through sharing, their total valence electrons increases to 8 each. We stop sharing electrons because we have 8 for each chlorine atom. But why stop at 8? The octet rule states that atoms can be stable by having only 8 electrons in their outermost shell. The reason we bond atoms is for stability. And stability has a number. Thy number is 8. Let's try another example, sulfur and oxygen. Let's indicate the valence electrons. So we have 6 for silicon and oxygen. But for the sake of stability, we need 8 valence electrons, so we have to bond. Next, let's rearrange the electrons for bonding. Now let's draw one covalent bond. We now have 7 valence electrons for each, but since we need 8, let's perform a bond again. Our atoms are finally stable, so we stop drawing covalent bonds. Another example, hydrogen and chlorine. Hydrogen has one valence electron, while chlorine has four valence electrons. If we bond, this makes hydrogen stable. Yes, you heard right. Hydrogen is exempted from the octet rule since it can be stable with two valence electrons. But chlorine is still not stable. So we add another and another until we reach stability. So students, we can add more atoms so widen your imagination. The second type of bond for today is ionic bonds. This bond occurs when you transfer valence electrons from one atom to another. This bond exists between a metal that has a tendency to lose electrons and a non-metal that has a tendency to accept electrons. Let's observe the ionic bonding of sodium Na and fluorine F. As you can see, sodium has one valence electrons in its outermost energy level while fluorine has seven. In ionic bonding, one atom loses a valence electron while the other gains an electron for stability. Sodium gives up one electron to become stable since in its second energy level, the second ring from the center, it has eight electrons. While fluorine gains that electron to be stable, receiving an electron means you become more negative, which we call an anion, while giving an electron means you become less negative or positively charged, a cat 
higher. We can observe this again in lithium and fluorine. Now before we end, I'm going to share a picture. I hope you get it. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Goodbye.